Hey, happy Valentine's Day weekend, everybody. It's your buddy, Mr. Butter, back with you again. Welcome to the Butter household. I'm glad you're here. If this is your first time here, please hit that like button. And most importantly, please hit that subscribe button. It's a new channel, but I'm getting as many shoes as I can. And honestly, that is not an exaggeration. I'm really excited about the shoe that I got today. Let's just go ahead and dive right into it. My box did get a little dinged up today, but I don't really care about that. You can see it's pretty much just a standard box. There's nothing fancy about it. You've all seen them before. Here's a look at the tag. Air Jordan 6 Retro. The color is white, carmine black. This is a USA size 10 and suggested retail is 200 US dollars. One thing I didn't realize, and it might just be because I've never really bought kid sizes of hype shoes like this. Those just come in like a mid box. I don't know if it's always been that way, but there's the, there's the tag on the kid sizes. If anybody's interested in that. There's the kid size, just real quick. Obviously, looks pretty dope. Let's look at a bigger example, shall we? Standard paper. We've all seen that design before. Nothing too fancy, but look. Doesn't take long to just get a good first impression. Now that is a great looking shoe. And you want to talk about nostalgia. Look at what he's got on his feet there. I just realized that this is the 30th anniversary of these shoes. I was 10 years old when this shoe first came out. And this being the 30th anniversary, I will be turning 40 this year. This shoe is burned into my memory in a way that not many other shoes could be. Here's an example of one, Jordan 4, Fire Red. I'm a big fan of them. I think they look great on foot. I really got to tip my hat to Nike for giving us another version of this shoe. And one that I believe is the closest to the original that we've received so far. I love this icy blue translucent sole and i love the way they age over time and then you got a bright white midsole and little accents of black and then more of this icy blue translucent wrapping up around this visible air unit i love that so clean looking and honestly this is the first time i have ever held this shoe in hand I recently sold my pair of the hair sixes. I think they were called neutral gray sixes. When I saw that Nike was going to be re-releasing this shoe, I wanted to make a little bit of room in the collection for these ones. So I was really hoping to be able to cop them in my size today. Unfortunately, I did. When I think of the Dream Team and I think of that era, of course, Michael Jordan, but then everybody else I was with him, David Robinson, Carl Malone, John Stockton, Patrick Ewing, Hakeem Olajuwon, and obviously the list just goes on and on. But that era of basketball, to me, it feels like it was the golden age. I'm a big LeBron fan. I've seen him a couple of times and it was always amazing. And a lot of people get into debates on who's, who's better. I don't really consider either one of them better. I just think they're both the best that there has ever been. But as far as what Michael Jordan did for the game, for fashion, he just, I mean, really, he just changed the world.
Michael Jordan is to basketball what the Beatles are to music, in my opinion. But these shoes just take me back to when I was a kid, seeing these things for the first time. They're awesome looking. I hope you guys were all able to get a pair in your size. I was able to get a pair in my size and a kid size pair as well. Come on. How cool is that? And one thing I do really like 